Hi guys, sometimes a new version of a software is worse than the previous one. Sometimes things change in ways you don't like. Other times bugs are introduced that can cause the software to stop working properly. Or maybe you are just a fan and want to save all program versions on your hard disk, whatever your reason. In this video, I'll show you how to create a backup of the installation files of CapCut for Windows. Let's get started. As you can see, I have already backed up several versions of CapCut here, starting from version 1.0 up to the current version 1.3 beta version 4 to demonstrate the procedure. I first installed the last official version 1.1 in this virtual machine. Once the outdated CapCut version is started, it will check for updates. The next higher version is version 1.2. Before the install button can be pressed, we have to take a few precautions. At Live, Sys Internals you can find many useful and free tools for troubleshooting. Process Explorer is a task manager replacement with the help of which processes can be examined more closely. Download the software and run it. I will show you how to use it in conjunction with CapCut in a moment. This is the main window of the Process Explorer. I am particularly interested in one function that we need for our project. I'll start Microsoft Paint and it will be more obvious. Process Explorers can be used to suspend individual processes. After the paint process is stopped, the window can no longer be interacted with. We use this feature during the installation of CapCut to prevent the installer from deleting the installation data right after downloading it. The program is now frozen, so to speak and can no longer get into mischief to enable interaction again. We click resume. Process Explorer is perfectly suitable for this task, but there is a similar program which is preferable for viewing reasons. Just search for Process Hacker. Download and install the software. The user interface and functionality of Process Hacker is similar to Process Explorer. Of course, you can also use it to kill annoying programs like the Edge browser. Now, you have finally done it. Now I will show you how to back up the installation files of CapCut for PC with Process Hacker. Hit the button to start the upgrade process. CapCut will download the installation files. Just be patient. Let's clean up and arrange the windows a bit. I'll fast forward a bit. The download of the installer is now almost complete. The trick now is to stop CapCut after the download. Right-click on the process and select Suspend from the context menu. Select the Disk tab. Here you will find the downloaded installation file. Right-click to open the file location. Copy the file to the desktop.
Go back to the Processes tab and select the CapCut process, then click on Resume in the context menu. CapCut will continue the upgrade. Wait until the update is done. This may take a little longer depending on your computer. The program has been successfully updated. Now let's take a look at the file. As you can already see from the file size, the update is, as expected, the next program version. That's it. This is how you create a backup and save your personal copy of CapCut for PC. See you next time.